What's up, Cruel World? What's up, Freakers? It's the Arc 1600 here, and it's time for a new review of My Hero Academia, episode 22. And I'm here with the kid. Yench. Yench. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that was like what you said. Yeah, Anyways, <laughs> what did you think about this episode? Uh, it was good. It was very, very good. Um, what the basic premise behind the episode was uh, Bakugo versus Uraraka. I can't say her name to save my life. Uraraka. Uraraka. I don't think you said it already. No, no, it's Uraraka. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna <laughs> check out my goo. Yeah. Turn out in the boot. Yeah. Turn out in the boot. Okay, keep on. Anyhow, yeah. Um, It's one of those uh, fights that you didn't really expect much to, be, to come out of it. But because they're two main characters, of course, they have to like do something kind of cool with it. Um, on paper, Bakugo, Bakugo should just wreck her. Yes. On, on paper, she stood no chance. In the fight, she still kind of stood, not so much of a chance, but you know what I mean, her tenacity was on display. So she goes in, she's got a battle plan that I really didn't think that she had one going in, to be honest with you. It was pretty cool. Um, I mean, while, while this fight seemed like it was futile, we saw a little bit of strategy on her part. Now, if she was smart, she probably should have taken Deku's strategy, because it probably was way better. But. She had a little strategy of her own. I liked how she ran around the whole ring, getting blasted in the face. Pause. Wait, no, not pause. She's a girl. Getting blasted in the face <laughs> by Bakugo's explosion attacks. And then the whole time you're thinking, wow, she's just getting her ass kicked. She's just taking these L's right now. That's all she's doing. Over just, and over. Just laying and over back again. and just taking it. And then. All of a sudden, you see that she did She did have a strategy. She is touching all of the rocks and all of the debris that Bakugo was creating from his explosions. And he looks up and he sees that all of it is floating right above him. It's smart because they say that she keeps a low posture when attacking him. So that way, he's always looking low. And because of the explosions, you have all that dust and smoke screen. Mm -hmm. So even more so, he can't see it. It makes it really believable. And this is something I absolutely love about anime, right? Anime is so creative. It is so creative with its uh, attacks, with its strategies, with the way that they use their characters' abilities. Like, to me, it just blows my mind. Even reading like American comics like I do, we've got some really, really great storytellers, but often the fights end with you know I mean I, I punched you really hard yeah like that's the whole strategy is I punch you and don't get me wrong like some of my favorite characters are those straightforward Bakugo I like him uh, Kirishima mm -hmm. I like him you know what I mean these hey all we're gonna do is we're gonna go toe to toe those are my favorite characters but those other characters with those em emboldened strategies with those just that creativity you need a creative mind to make those creative characters. Absolutely, and I think this is one of the best. Uh, that's one of the best aspects of this anime. I think anime, any anime in which they employ real techniques like, you know, the uh, early earlier Dragon Ball or Naruto, and now My Hero Academia is usually the best shit. So, the way Uraraka's powers work is the only way she can make something levitate is if she touches it. So she's touching all the debris, it's all floating above Bakugo's head, and now this is where she fucked up. Because she probably had a legit chance of winning had she done this the right way. There was a uh, brief moment in which Bakugo, there's a close-up on his hand, and you can see that he just really exerted himself after trying to rid himself all of all the debris. Now, she decides to do a media shower while charging right at Bakugo. What she's going to do when she gets there, I have no idea. Touch him! touch him yeah that makes sense but I think that plan pretty shitty what she should have done was taking all of that debris and placed it directly over his head not around him not a meteor shower meant to be as a distraction but a meteor shower being used as a an offensive blunt instrument it, yeah a pre precision blunt blunt instrument at the same time it's a it's a defensive maneuver in some respects it's an offensive maneuver it's a distraction because he's gonna have to dodge all that shit if you're putting it in multiple places at once and you're making it 
actually no no if you're aiming it directly at his head then he's just like holy shit this bitch is coming right from my head so that's what she should have done and if she was really smart she would have had it coming at two different angles so maybe taking all of that debris split it into let's say two different areas one from the front one from the back you can't do that that's not in her power set yeah, her, it is. Her power set is just, as, as, as they've shown it so far, it's literally just to make stuff float. And then she can decide to stop it from floating. So, as far as I understand from her power set so far, as far as she knows, she's not able to direct them in two different paths. But she, she has go up. She has some semblance of control. And that's what I'm saying. She has some, Because she has that little bit of control, even if she can just make it go up and down, she can make it go up, make it go down a little bit, make it not even hit him, bring it back up again, kind of play with his mind a little bit. And while he's sitting there thinking, yo, what the hell is she going to do? Then she could maybe get off that attack. Then maybe she can touch him and escort him out the ring. Can she do that? Can she make it go up and down? She can. Absolutely. After, after touching it and then releasing it, she can actually touch it again and make it go back up? She doesn't have to touch it. No, not, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not yeah, having to it, touch it. She, it. When she touches it, she has control over it. She has control over yeah. it going up and down. Yes. Indefinitely. I believe so. Okay. I believe so. Because I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> trying to, like... This this might be just headcanon here, but at the end of the day, <laughs> as we're recapping this shit, Bakugo is just way too OP. And <laughs> I think that's been my issue with some of these characters. Some of these characters are just so ridiculously overpowered, like Bakugo and Todoroki. It's like, what the hell? I love these it. These guys are supposed to be kids, but at the same time, That's like... That's what's so cool, because, because then you have Deku, right? Who is the un the most underdog, right? Mm -hmm. And this is his story to rise. You can't have non-overpowered characters and then have Deku, you know what I mean? Like, you need that to see him grow. To see him learn to reach these levels that Todoroki and Bakugo are on. Mm -hmm. You absolutely need that. And I, I love that. I love that because that gives him something to aim for. That gives him something, you know what I mean? And then if you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, then you know that he's actually coming into his own. He deserves that all might power and he's actually exerting it the right way. Fair enough. Fair enough. I can see that. Um, one Another thing I like about Deku's power is that he kind of is the strongest guy. He just doesn't... Con he has no c real control over his powers right now. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. He's definitely, pound for pound, the strongest guy. But he has no control whatsoever. <laughs> but, I mean, to recap this episode, it was cool to see Uraraka at least go out there and try. And um, Bakugo was humbled by it. He... He... He was humbled by it, and... He, or at least as, as humbled as Bakugo can <laughs> actually be, because he, he's not humble. He but. gave some real respect, like... You, you saw him gain respect, even if he didn't give it directly to her. Mm -hmm. You could see him like, holy crap, I respect her. You know what I mean? He thought it was Deku's idea at first. And then when he finds out that it was all her, he's all like, yeah, you know what? Damn. You know what I mean? I got to set my game up. Yeah. <sighs> Man. It was so heartbreaking. She's like, mommy and daddy, you know, I'll help you. You know, I promise I'll, I'll get better. I can do better. Da, 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 da. You know, sometimes the anime crying shit, I'm, I'm over it. It's a <laughs> anime crying. We see it in like every anime. And sometimes like that heartbreaking shit kind of gets annoying. You know what? But it was it was cool to see this character development. I'm ready to get back to Deku though. Because that's, that's what I'm really trying to see. That's what we all want to see. I'm cool. I'm cool when I see Bakugo or Todoroki. Bakugo is definitely my. It's probably my favorite character. Uh, Deku's Deku's still the illest man. He's I mean, cool. I see why you like Bakugo. Bakugo's great, but he is like Broly. He is a lot like Broly. Broly is just like this. He this yeah. dumb character Deku's with all this Kakarot. power. He's just like Kakarot. <laughs> Freaking Bakugo's like. Deku, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use my explosion power. Like, come on, he is kind of like that. Literally. I just, I Not like those type of, of um, those type of earnest, simple characters. Like, even if his, even if his like earnesty is, I want to totally like destroy everybody that steps in my path. Like, I love how everything is on his sleeve. You're never curious, you know, what he's thinking, and his method of attack is attack you know that is that is true i think it's going to be really cool when the anime eventually shows some 
shows some flashbacks as to why, why Bakugo he's such a dick. is the way he is. And it's really going to flesh him out. I feel like I'm really going to like him once they show me those moments. Once he's a three-dimensional character. Exactly. They're going to do some type of flashback, and this is my prognosis, of why he acts this way. What is his motivation? Why does he want to be the best? It's not just because he wants to be better than Deku. Deku was never really his equal. Was never really his rival until very, very recently. Right. So I really want to see that. He probably has like a traumatic past, a traumatic childhood. He also felt sense. weirdly betrayed by Deku, which was kind of interesting. Yeah. Because he felt like Deku was hiding this superhero trait that he had this entire time. And of course Deku wasn't, we all know that, but he can't tell Bakugo that. Yeah. It's weird how Bakugo hates the guy, but then feels betrayed like his best friend didn't tell him something. It's it's really interesting, and you're right, like once we maybe learn more about him and get that 3D fleshing out, maybe his actions will make a little bit more sense, but I, I just love his actions as they are. You're right. And with the way his quirk looks and the animation that they're doing for My Hero Academia, it's okay if he just makes things explode for right now. Dude, it's beautiful. This anime is gorgeous. The soundtrack is impeccable. So, um, and the humor is pretty top notch. You don't see a lot of new animes that are actually funny, but this anime is pretty solid in that respect. Yeah, I don't really laugh at any of it. I laugh at it. I think it's funny. I, but laugh, anyways, I laugh at you laughing. You know what? I th I'm glad that you laugh at me laughing, because yeah. I'm laughing at you not laughing. <laughs> Dick. There's the cat. Turn the tables. Look at the cat. He's just fucking sitting there, looking at the couch, just minding his business. Anyways, cats don't care about anime. Not all. Anyways, that concludes our review of My Hero Academia, episode 22. It was a good episode. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave us angry comments. And this is the Arc 1600 signing out. And Gen Genshi signing out. Peace. Tell your mother. I'll no, call no, her. No, 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 I'll no. call your mom. No. I'm your daddy. Who's uh, your daddy? Jesus Christ. Big daddy. LeVar Ball. Big ball of brand. Anyways. <laughs>